let's see how we could use sparse space to solve the linear system Ax is equal to b. We start by creating the COO object A. We specify the data types needed to store the number of rows and columns in A, the number of non-zeros in A, and the actual data stored in the matrix A. We read A from a matrix market file using this simple function. And then we create a dense vector object B, and we read it using a similar syntax. Now we're going to reorder the matrix A. We call the reorder function. We pass the algorithm used to reorder. In this case, it's gray reordering, gray code reordering. And we pass the parameters to the specific algorithm, as well as the format we'd like to reorder. Now, every pre-processing, reordering, partitioning, etc. in sparse space can be implemented to work on multiple different formats optimally. In this case, gray reordering is only implemented for CSRs. Now, we can either convert A into a CSR and pass it to this function, or we can tell SparseSpace, you are allowed to convert A for us, and we give SparseSpace the contexts that it can use to do the conversion, and now SparseSpace will take A, convert it to CSR, carry out the reordering, and give it back to us so we can use it in the rest of our code. Let's permute the matrix A. We make the call to the permute2d function, pass it the permutation array, and the matrix A itself, and whether or not A is allowed to be converted if need be. Now, permute2d currently is only implemented for CSRs, which means that the input will be converted from COO to CSR, and the output is going to be a CSR object as well. The output from permute2d will by default be a pointer at format order2, the parent of CSR, but since we know that the output is going to be a CSR, we can store this in a CSR pointer by passing this template data type to the function. We also permute the vector B using a similar function. Now we're going to convert the matrix into the format that Armadillo requires. Armadillo requires the matrix B as CSC, compressed sparse column, and that the integers be unsigned long longs inside this matrix. We can make a call to the convert function, which will convert the format and convert the data inside the format to the proper data types. Of course, we could have read the matrix market format using these data types from the beginning, but where's the fun in that? Now we're going to take the reordered data and put it in armadillo data structures to call the linear solver. So we store the number of non-zeros and number of rows and columns in the matrix. And then we store our data in these armadillo objects by accessing the raw pointers in our objects. We make the call to the linear solver. And now we're going to take the solution from armadillo and we're going to inverse permute it back to the original order. So we create a sparse space object and store in it the array that armadillo calculated. We create an inverse permutation array, and we inverse permute the array that we've created. Now that we have the result, we can either use it in our code, or we can write it to disk. Besides the usual sparse data formats, sparse space supports its own binary format called SBBIN, which is cross-architecture, parallelly read, and that is easily written and read using Python.